Uh, hi, my name's Wolfgang Buttress. I'm an artist and I live and work in Nottingham. Possibly 30 years ago, I moved down from, uh, from Cumbria and I studied fine arts at what was Nottingham Trent Polytechnic. It's now Nottingham Trent University. I studied fine art there. Uh, for three years, and straight after I set up a studio here in uh, here in Nottingham. So the Hive was the centrepiece of the uh, of the UK Pavilion in Milan, and I was always uh, keen that the that the Pavilion and the Hive and the story w would have a second life. And I started speaking to uh, Q Gardens, Richard Devil from Q Gardens, who expressed an interest in taking it. And to me, it seemed like the perfect home. I mean, Kew itself, it's not only a, a beautiful place itself, but one of the most interesting and remarkable things about it is the science behind the Kew. It's about the research which goes into seeds, and it's about expressing you know, this idea of pollination and how important sort of seeds and plants are you know, to human existence. And again, so it's highlighting the idea of, uh, of the bee, but for me, again, what's really interesting and important, it was this, uh, this culmination and harmony of of art, science, music, bringing these things together to tell a to tell a to tell a powerful story. Nottingham at the moment is going through a a cultural renaissance. When I first came here, sort of 30 years ago, it was really exciting. I think it lost its way for a little while. I think I think it's always been a really interesting city in terms of kind of culture, but how it was expressed and how it's been realised, I think it was difficult. I think for the last sort of five, ten years, it's really starting to rise. You can feel it in the air. There's something tangible. There's something really exciting which is kind of happening, and that goes from uh, you know the larger organisations like the, you know, the Nottingham Contemporary, but also the, some of the smaller uh, artist-led studios like you know, like Backlit. And uh, it feels there's a lot of people kind of coming here. There's a real energy. It's not just the the, the art scene, but it's music, it's dance, it's poetry, it's literature, it's football. And uh, so to me, it feels really exciting to be kind of part of it. And I think one of the interesting things about Nottingham, it feels that it's coming from, from the ground up. It doesn't sort of feel that it's, a will has been imposed on it. It feels like it's really connected to the communities. It's a, it's a really diverse city. And I think that's expressed really poetically, really beautifully. Creativity is in a, it's in all of us, you know, I suppose it's, it's one of the things which separates us from, I don't know, the, the plant kingdom and maybe even the animal kingdom. It, 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 it defines and creates culture and culture is, it makes us, makes a society civilised, it makes a society worth living, it helps express and define what we're about as a as a culture and society. So creativity is, a, you know, it, it's, it's at the core of that, and it could be at the the smallest subtle kind of gesture to something which is incredibly large and, and ambitious, something which is temporary, something which is uh, which leaves a which leaves a legacy. If Nottingham won this 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 title, I think it would help realise a lot of projects which are which are bubbling under. I think that could be really fantastic. I think it could help maybe express not just to the people in Nottingham, but to the people in the UK, to Europe and the world, maybe what Nottingham is about. It's an incredibly creative city, it kind of always has been. Uh, so I think for it to be on a, on a European and world map, I think would be a fantastic thing.